people ask me all the time, Mary, how do I connect my vacuum pump to my vacuum oven? Well, we've made it pretty simple. We offer what's called a connection kit, and it has all the pieces and parts that you need to connect your vacuum pump to your vacuum oven. So when you buy this connection kit, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what you get, and then I will go ahead and actually install the connection kit vacuum pump to oven. Okay. This is your connection kit. These are all the pieces and parts that you need to connect your pump to your oven. First thing we have, this steel cylinder, this is called a four-line trap. What's great about a four-line trap is that it will actually prevent any gunk, oil hydro hydrocarbons, contaminants from backflowing up through the pump and into your oven and contaminating your parts. It's a rare occurrence. It doesn't happen very often, but we like to take that extra precaution to put this trap on the inlet to the pump to make sure that never happens to you. That's called the four-line trap. The next thing we have here, this is what's called a mist eliminator. Now the pump has an exhaust. This mist eliminator goes on the pump exhaust, and what this does is this traps and filters out any other gunk that the pump wants to exhaust. Sometimes you might see a little smoke, sometimes you might see a little water mist, it just depends on what you're putting through the pump. So this is called the mist eliminator. These things here are what we call clamps and centering rings. These are used to affix the four-line trap and the mist eliminator to the pump, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. This is the vacuum hose. This connects to the pump and to the oven with these clamps and centering rings. Okay, now I am going to connect the pump connection kit to the pump so that we can then have it ready to connect to the oven. First thing I'm going to put on, just because I work backwards, is the mist eliminator. This goes on the pump exhaust. You can find the pump exhaust by the outward facing arrow that's engraved on the, on the pump casing. That means exhaust. You can just pull off the red protective cap. You'll see a sort of a Viton O-ring screen in here. Pull off the protective cap on the mist eliminator. Set the two on there. So now I'm going to clamp the mist eliminator onto the pump exhaust. I wrap this clamp around, pinch it, and then I'll turn it so you can see, I tighten this wing nut. Now I'm going to put the four-line trap on the pump inlet. You'll see the pump inlet, it's, it has the arrow facing in to the pump. First thing I need to do is something special to the TVO2 connection kit, is we have a little spacer here. Take off the plastic caps, put this spacer on the inlet like so. Now you're ready to mount the four-line trap onto the inlet. This is the four-line trap. Remove the plastic cap. Now we have to grab what's called a centering ring, one of these little guys. Seed that right there on top of the spacer. Put your four-line trap right on top of there, and tighten. All right, the, the final step is we're going to connect the vacuum hose to the top of the four-line trap. Anytime you make these connections, you grab your centering ring seated on top of the four-line trap. Now let's grab our vacuum hose. On your connection kit, you'll see the end with this barbed flanged fitting. That is the end that will go on the four-line trap. Leave this end empty. This will be connected to the vacuum oven, and I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so take this end with the uh, flanged fitting, seat it on top of the four-line trap, and we are ready to go. We are ready to connect this end to our TVO2 vacuum oven.